So, what should we, uh, I guess, what should be first uh, topic? Uh, hi, my name is Zach Koch, and uh, these are some of the paintings I've been working on over the past year. I, most of my inspiration and motivation comes from uh, just uh, regular digital imagery that you find on the internet every day. Uh, I'm constantly bombarded with uh, images of uh, anime, uh, nostalgic uh, images that pop up, uh, screens from uh, movies, moving images, uh, animated GIFs, uh, everything along uh, those lines, it all kind of influences the work where uh, at, at some point I just, uh, like, it all bleeds together into one and uh, I try to kind of make these compositions uh, work together as they, uh, uh, you know, they just form this uh, unique entity. <laughs> Usually with uh, my process, I will uh, start out by uh, collecting like hundreds and hundreds of uh, images uh, from the internet just that uh, kind of act as the wallpaper or texture within each painting. So uh, I will, you know, I'll also start out making a three-dimensional uh, model uh, within a uh, 3D program and kind of start developing an environment for these images to kind of uh, live in. So the idea is uh, I'm making like these 3D models that are uh, part of this virtual environment that kind of resemble a video game or that kind of harken back to the idea of a video game space. But uh, and the images are the things that kind of make that space uh, sort of a psychological realm too. So uh, I'll take those models and texture them with, uh, with these uh, different appropriated sources and uh, all the different little uh, nuances and interplay between each image uh, hopefully kind of makes some sort of uh, kind of narrative or have uh, some sort of connection between all of them. <laughs> the idea of high and low is uh, actually something I, I think about a lot. Uh, you know, it's probably obvious, like, uh, I'm using uh, imagery from, like, anime and uh, American uh, cartoons, like The Simpsons, so uh, uh, it's automatically going to have some sort of uh, uh, ties the low art, but uh, I guess it's uh, whenever I think about it, it's like it doesn't really seem like low art to me because it's uh, something of the culture that I grew up with and uh, the symbols of uh, you know Bart Simpson or uh, some anime girl are just as relevant to me as uh, like a high art like bottle of uh, uh, trying to think of the. Who's the dude that did all the still lives with the bottles? Starts with the M. No, not Mondrian. It's that oh, other I'm guy. Sorry, uh, I don't think no. Anyway, uh, let me let me kind of uh, go backwards. <laughs> so, like, uh, using an image like Bart Simpson or Anime Girl is like just as relevant as like using a skeleton or something. Like, uh, I'm trying to. I don't really have an understanding of like why some things are high art and why other things are low art just because they have a mass appeal or they're recognized. And, you know, I guess that's my basic spiel on that. So, I guess my ideas of uh, appropriation and ownership, it's... It's kind of a tough one that I, uh, I keep struggling with because uh, most of the things that I uh, I appropriate, like I used to just like pull from art history, and uh, so it didn't feel bad because it was like out of that copyright trademark <laughs> of, uh, bounds like that. It was like uh, you know it's totally free to kind of take and make your own and play with. 
But then, you know, whenever you start using things that are like more recent, that are like trademarked, and that are uh, have that stamp to it, it it uh, it kind of starts to go in that gray area of like what's for use, what's uh, what is like considered fan art. What, uh, do you manipulate the image enough where it's something else? So, uh, you know, for me, uh, if I'm using these images and uh, creating a, creating kind of a little still life within it, uh, where whatever thing I appropriate is representing an idea that's separate than what uh, it actually is, that's what kind of makes it different for me. Or if it's part of a larger idea or if it, you know, starts a new kind of conversation with that, I guess it just seems like it wouldn't be like stealing or something. The technique or way each uh, thing is painted is, uh, you could almost look at it as a very flat uh, kind of mechanical way of uh, painting where you're not uh, you know, the brush strokes are hidden for the most part. There's not a lot of, uh, you know, bravado or uh, bravura br br uh, to the uh, brush mark. Uh, so, you know, with that, I, I really like the idea of, like, you know, covering your tracks or, <laughs> uh, you know, kind of making something kind of look uh, effortless or, uh, you know, just unified as a whole. Uh, that's, I guess that's the one thing I think about where, uh, you know, I, I don't want to leave things so open. I want it to be uh, contained and I want it to be, like, looking finished. furry porn and <laughs> deviant art and anthro. Nah, that should be good. Thank you, sir. That was nice.